Period poverty is a lack of access to menstrual products. It affects millions of girls globally, including teens throughout the United States. Period poverty can be a barrier to education. According to a recent study in the U.S., one in five teens have struggled to afford period products or have not been able to purchase them at all. And one in four teens have missed class due to the lack of access to period products. Period poverty also has a negative emotional consequences. 64% of teens believe society teaches people to be ashamed of their periods. 71% feel self-conscious on their period, and 51% of students feel like their, their school does not care about them if they do not provide free period products in their back. And the health consequences of period poverty are startling. 61% of teens have worn a pad or a tampon for longer than four hours because they did not have enough access to period products, putting them at risk for protection. Lack of access of period products also uses, also, leads girls to using substitute products like newspaper, plastic, and cloth, which puts them at risk for fungal infections, reproductive tract infections, and urinary infections. We want this to stop. We want to eliminate period poverty. 18, we created a project called Girls Supporting Girls Period to help educate people about period poverty and to fight for period products being affordable, safe, and available to those in need, especially those in shelters, schools and prisons. Now we want your help. Become a menstrual equity advocate like me. And me. And me. And me. For more information on what you can do to help, go to www.voiceupworks.org slash period poverty.